the uh, confusion in the name uh, is really due to our lack of due diligence, not due to the fact that the knowledge isn't in front of us. Uh, we were uh, privileged to actually uh, deal with a transcript uh, that uh, clarified the actual difference between the surname and the given name, but mainly in the fact that someone was trying to actually uh, push while they were using the surname in the court, they were trying to push that they had exemption or somehow an ability to use their Christian name and that the proceeding somehow wouldn't go ahead uh, based on such. So in this uh, transcript, it uh, dealt with the unalienable position of the given name, the Christian name, the God-given name. And it says, there is no provision in the Canadian legal system which allows an individual to transfer his given names to anyone, whether to a person, a corporation, or a trust. Any document purporting to achieve that goal is in and itself invalid, and having such a document notarized does not validate the document. So what they're saying here is that the, the given name that was even on the statement of birth record, though your parents put it on there, was not transferable or conveyable. That means it wasn't alienable. And in the event that someone's purporting to say it is, it's, it would not hold. And the only thing that could possibly be the opposite of that would be that the surname was alienable because it is conveyable and it's needed in Gentile conveyances for the idea of moving around debt to those who don't understand the difference between being a Christian creditor or a devil debtor under the surname. So by comprehending facts that will even show up in their own documents reviewed by their own magistrates, their own uh, basically authorities of justice, uh, puts by not us taking the time to look at this, it puts us in a position of ignorance. And ignorance is no excuse in the eyes of the law. So remember, there is what is considered to be private property, but if you are using posted property that does not belong to you, you're using basically property that is on the common side, and it's been posted as public property, but you're using, you're making peculation of it, or private use for private gain, so you're using officially public property for your own private gain, well, then you are not in the Christian side of ambassage. So when people are asking me, how am I going to walk? The most of the time they're asking me, how am I going to continue using the unclean Gentile thing, the uncircumcision of the heart? How do I continue using that wrong thing and continue to operate? How do I discharge debt with that? Well, that would be an impossibility because that would be fraud. Now, you could enforce the fraud, but you can't do that with your own signature. You can only use the signature to pierce the corporate veil with the signatures of the government officials holding them liable for inducing and offering such a situation, even though it is forbidden by law for you to use something that is not yours, unless it's done by license. So in the sense on this, if you looked at posted, well, a post is a pax, which is a piece, and one side of your name is the piece, but the surname is war. And if you use the surname in combination with your Christian name, combination, well, then it's a lockdown. It's a warlock. And then you will basically pay for disturbing the peace of your Christian name by using something that is contrary to it. So private property, in the sense of a Christian, can be as itself, as long as it stays within itself and is publicly declared as such. So you'd post private, your Christian property, but you can't be holding on to the property of another and do that, because that wouldn't, that wouldn't be honorable. That would actually be, in a sense, uh, participating in a fraud. So when you use their property, well, technically, when you combine the two names together, one is 
subsumed into the other, so the Christian name is no longer seen, it's concealed under the surname, and then the surname is now a public property that you're claiming privately, and therefore now you must pay your common polluted share for its use as a partaker, as someone who would receive part of the plagues, the mark of the beast at the time of the end. So posted private property in a true sense, if you're only using your Christian name, is basically private property. Hunting, fishing, and trapping or trespassing for any purpose is strictly forbidden on it as it is forbidden for you to use their property without penalty. So they are prosecuting you for using their property. I hope we made this understood. If you use the surname belonging to the crown or to the state side of your country well, or the country that you are declaring allegiance to as a participant, well then you are basically using the property that does not belong to you and for that reason they are able to prosecute you for its use. In reality you're bearing arms against the state. 